Yes, Diana Ross, I'm coming out. You're listening to the Sunday evening program with me, Wahid Akhtar. And you know, Bradford's first ever Curry Miller is taking place this weekend, celebrating the cuisine that the city is best known for. Thousands of people have been in City Park for the event, taking place alongside the Bradford Curry Awards. Well, uh, let's get some uh, feedback on uh, what people have been saying, actual visitors to the Mela. It'll be Nelson. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I'm enjoying it. What about you? What's your name? My name is Rosana. What do you make of the curry Mela? Uh, it's brilliant because then I mean, Bradford has got his own culture of uh, our curries. So basically the kids are in, in our culture. Obviously they need to know how um, different curries are made and stuff like that. Thank you very much. What's your name? Legend. Are you enjoying the festival? Yeah. She's been shy. What's been your favourite bit so far? Crawling. The making the chapatis? Yes. Oh, well done. What's your name? Aisha. Oh, I'm Aisha as well. Okay, what do you think of the festival today? It's very good. I loved everything here, especially the making chapatis. It's our Desi festival. <laughs> really enjoyed. It's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously we, we all make chapatis at home. Yeah. We never really think of it as a skill. Yeah, so what, what do you think it teaches uh, children and the rest of the community? They should know how to make chapatis, especially. For, it's very... I just love it. I, yeah, how long have you been making chapatis? When I'm being big, since before wedding, I start when I was, I think, 15 years old, I start making good. Thank you very much. It's alright to get both of you and the girls. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Even though it's raining, but it's good. It's good. What's the best thing about this festival and about South Asian culture? Oh, the families have come out to enjoy the day out and it's nice to see everyone together. What have been the highlights for you? Oh, your uh, Francis. Which I haven't got yet. <laughs> the chapati making competition. Uh, we are from Desi Snacks and Mama Chaudhry's Bazaar. So uh, we're also from uh, IWF, Inspirational Women's Foundation. So because of uh, with her, we are uh, cooking pakoras. We're selling our homemade kajur, homemade bazaar. Basar is something that you put in your curries, every kind of curry. It's like a this is spices, yeah, masala mix. So What's yeah. What's been the best thing about this festival so far? Uh, allowing us to cook on the stores, so cooking it makes it like it's fresh. Food is all about getting together, isn't it? It's all about. It's not about eating on your own. Whenever you have a meal now, Asian families will always have to get together, eat together, enjoy the food together. Everyone always makes a dish and brings it. Nobody cook. No one person cooks. Whenever we go to a house, our sister's house, our family's house, we cook together. And we bring, bring dishes, and that's what just brings you all together, brings you together as a family. Right, so that's the uh, views, views of some people uh, earlier on at the uh, Curry Miller taking place in Bradford. Let's uh, go live there to City Park. And our BBC Radio Leeds reporter Aisha Iqbal is there. She's had the dream job of actually being at the Curry Mela for the weekend. Good evening, Aisha. Good evening. Aisha. Good evening, Good Aisha. evening Wahid. Yeah, Aisha. welcome. Actually, just listening to that, I'm, I'm just thinking the yeah. uh, uh, chapati making competition. Now, I've been making chapatis for a few years, uh, but mine still tend to be either rectangular or a rugby ball shape. So how, how long have you been doing it and uh, have you got been able to get them round, perfectly round shape yet? Goodness me, Wahid. Welcome, of course, to City Park in Bradford, the first ever curry miller. And yes, I've been running a chapati making competition all weekend with my colleagues. And do you know what? We are not judgmental about chapati shapes here. We've had every shape. Obviously, we're celebrating South Asian heritage. We've probably done the map of India, map of Pakistan. We've done square rotis, triangular rotis. We've probably made about 400 in total. Children, families, husbands and wives having a chapati making competition. And, you know, the children decide deciding who makes the best. It's all been about celebration. It doesn't matter what shape your chapati is. They all taste good and it's all about celebrating this important part of our culture. It's been brilliant. I'm actually here with Heed now with Fatima Patel, who's the organiser of this brilliant event, and Mariam Zamir, one of her volunteers, and it has been a brilliant, brilliant event. A whole range of um, stalls here and, yeah, absolutely steered and powered by the volunteers who come together to pr- bring this together. Fatima, as the person behind this brains behind this how are you feeling it's nearly over oh my god that is a question and a half Aisha how am I feeling I am currently feeling on top of this world it's been a phenomenal 
two days. A fabulous experience for me, for everybody that's come here. With it being our very first one, obviously, we had um, you know, a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles, but I think it's safe to say we've overcome a lot of them, weather being one, especially when it's an outdoor event. But people have come in their thousands and uh, you know, they've really, really enjoyed it. And I think it's been, it's been amazing meeting people and talking to people. But the best thing I, I would say, Aisha, is food really does bring people together. There's been people of all cultures, all backgrounds, all age groups. And when I've gone into that marquee when the master glasses are on and people are sat down watching, nobody's worried about what colour the person sat next to them is or what background they're from. Everybody's got that shared love for curry. And that's brilliant. I've loved every minute of this weekend. I think everyone has has been here. Now it's interesting you say everyone loves curry, but curry is curry just means gravy, right? So when we think of curry in this country, it's like one homogenous word covering all things. There's thousands of varieties of curry. To what extent have you succeeded in um, kind of getting that wider message about the variety, the versatility of this wonderful dish that came from the subcontinent via the spice route? You know, the history and heritage behind it is so rich. You're absolutely right. I mean, we've, we've had um, traders here today, such as Sweet Centre, who've been around since the 1960s, um, and they've shown traditional uh, Kashmiri uh, uh, from, from you know, what they were serving to people who arrived in Bradford in the 60s, the 70s, you know, five, six decades worth or, or generations of people. Um, so that's one style of cuisine. Then you've had Mumbai Bites, who are originally from Mumbai, and they've been showcasing uh, current, trendy uh, Mumbai street food that the young people are really into. The Gold Gopay competition was pretty special. Wasn't oh, Marion's going to tell you a lot all about the Gold Gopay comp competition, and that is an interesting cuisine in itself. Uh, so um, the competition has been great. I think the challenge for a lot of people was we, we challenged them um, to see how many they could eat in a minute. Um, and I think the average was about seven, but we managed to get one person to eat 16 of them in a minute, which was incredible. So it's been so much fun. And the variety of stuff that's been around has been incredible. And that's what people have come to see. It's brilliant. And Mariam Zamir, one of the volunteers, how's it been for you? Honestly, it's been amazing. You know, it, like volunteering here, it's, I, I came here because I enjoy my city. I think Bradford's an amazing place. and. Do you know, we're so diverse and so multicultural and it's so nice for us to share each other's culture and people like testing new foods, tasting them, um, learning how to make them in the masterclass and so many people love the Gold Gap uh, go, go Bar competition. So we're running the stall and just for those who don't know, what is a Gold Bar? Oh, so it's like a round crisp with like um, chickpeas and onions and cucumber with like a, a sauce. Um, and you just, you just, yeah, have it in one It's a flavour explosion. Yeah, isn't it's, it? it's a flavour explosion, so you can't bite at it. You just put it in your mouth all in one go and you just enjoy the flavours. And it's been amazing and people have enjoyed it. And that's what we like to see. The reason, you know, we're here is to see, you know, the smile on people's faces. And we've had hundreds of smiles today, so Asian really happy. Asian sensation. And I'm standing, by the way, next to a giant garahi yeah. because we've had a huge. Basically, the army have been helping out. That's how big the operation was, Wahid, that the army have been helping make, I think, what must be the biggest dal grai in the world. <laughs> and it's pretty much empty. That's how popular it's been. So between our chapati stall, fresh chapatis, and the dal, I think we've had it. It just goes to show the simple things are the best. The spice is right here in Bradford. Long may the festival continue. This is part of and almost a kickstart of Bradford South Asian Heritage Month. Lots of activities happening, culminating on the 12th and 13th and 14th. 14th of August with the Bradford South Asian Festival. Loads more coming from Bradford to the world, celebrating all things Desi Wahid. I can't wait, but um, yeah, it has been a brilliant weekend. Hi, Shay. It certainly sounds uh, sounds brilliant. So all that uh, chapati making, the Gold Cup Gape competition, the. Uh, the record breaking, did it actually break the record then or do we not know yet? Does it have uh, to let, be me ask, let me ask my colleagues. Yeah, do we, do we have a world record breaking good eye here at the moment? Not currently, but who knows next year we 
we might attempt it. All right, fair enough. Great. We didn't quite get to that stage. I think the I think the clay actually ran out before we had a chance to even <laughs> measure things. But, but it was so popular. But we're here, honestly. And by the way, it's still not over. It's running till eight o'clock this festival. At the moment, we've got a masterclass running in the main tent with Radha Koshal. Is that right for Fatima? Yeah, Chef Ru. Uh, she's known as a spicy flexitarian, and she was a finalist on the last Master Chef show. So we're very proud of her because she's a Bradford lass and her food is absolutely amazing. And, she, and, and it's a full house in the marquee there because people are getting the tips from a Master Chef finalist. So we've had it all. We've had flavours, we've had tastes, we've had master classes, we'd have competitions. We have, haven't quite found the chapati making champion of Bradford, but we're confident by the end of Bradford South Asian Heritage Month we will. Well, and yeah, long may it continue. So ours, happy, happy South Asian Heritage Month, everyone. Happy, yes, yes, happy uh, curry, curry mela in in, uh, Bradford, our stomachs are <laughs> yeah. uh, rumbling here in the studio. I think next <laughs> next year, Aisha, you need to take me with you because we need to see. Uh, you know, I need to see what's happening on the ground as well. <laughs> yeah, me, no. me, you, and Fatima in a gold cup <laughs> competition. Wade. How's oh, that? Definitely, I'm in for it. I'm in for it, and I love the thing about the uh, the sweet centre being there. And I know. Uh, we're going to be hearing about the Kashmir restaurant later on in the programme. We're going to be talking to you as well, Aisha, about the uh, South Asian Heritage Month. And great stuff about uh, how curry is a medium for bringing people together. We often hear about mm. sports and festivals and, and you know, mm. I think curry, yeah, we should promote that nationally. Curry as a means of bringing all communities together. Aisha, I'm going to oh talk to God, you later Oh my God, well think on. about it, Wahid. Yeah, <laughs> think about it, Wahid. The, curry, the ultimate curry is a mix of beautiful spices and flavours. And what are we if we're not that? The melting pot yeah. is not just a cliche, it's yeah. the truth. We are a big, happy mix masala karahi of communities. <laughs> and when we come together in a perfect combination, <laughs> what do you have. Aisha, what do you have? You've that had the best. is a great analogy. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you later on and uh, it's going to carry on till 8 o'clock. That's uh, Bradford's first ever Corrie Miller. It's happening in City Park in the city.